today with a brand new little tutorial, thought it was about time um, and I thought I would do a little demonstration of how I put on my lipstick in a 40s fashion because there's more to it than just slapping on some lipstick, you've got to actually make a bit of a different shape to your lips so without further ado, here we go! Now the first thing you'll need is, I like to use a uh, MAC primer so MAC Prep and Prime is what I use for this and uh, I'll just put a little bit on because it, it helps to moisturise a little bit and it ensures that your lipstick doesn't bleed too much or anything like that. So apply the Prep and Prime, not too much and uh, yeah, this post isn't sponsored by MAC, but all the products I'm using will be by MAC, just because that's what I, I prefer myself, and that's what I use. I think they are definitely worth the money. So you want to take your, your lip liner, I'm using MAC Cherry today, sharpen point, and uh, you want to outline your lips, so... You'll notice on the bottom lip, I'm literally doing following the outline of my lip, but if you look at the shape of my lips, the top, it doesn't have a sort of a nice rounded cupid's bow, which is the typical 40s look. If you're lucky enough to have this naturally, then just go for it. But with mine, I'm going to very, very slightly change the shape of my lips. Um, not talking Barbara Cartland here, um, you know, just very subtly. My mum still hates it. She says I look like Lucille Ball, um, but that's the look I'm trying to go for anyway. So uh, I'll show you how I do it. So... Follow the right line of the, the very middle of the cupid's bow, but then I've rounded it out slightly more. So this side is coming down pretty straight, but this side is now more of a more of a convex curve, which is the right sort of shape. Obviously the trick is to get it symmetrical, I think that is for the purposes of this demonstration. So the next thing to do while you've, when you've lined your lips is to use the pencil just to fill everything else in. Doesn't have to be perfect, just gives a nice sort of base for the, for the lipstick. So, the lipstick I'm using today is Ruby Woo by MAC, and I like this shade because it's very authentic looking, and it's very matte, and it's got an authentic formula, but it can be very drying. Um, the pigment is fabulous, and it'll stay on all day, but I do find I have to reapply it, you know, after a few, after maybe five or six hours, because it just, it'll, it'll be stayed on, perhaps apart from right in the middle, but it, it, it just does start to get very dry. So I apply it straight from the tube, you may prefer to use a brush, that's just the way I do it. So Um, what I tend to do, because when you apply it straight from the tube it's not particularly precise, so I get my, my lip, li lip liner out again and just touch it up. And that's 
pretty much it. I mean, I you can blot it um, with the tissue and reapply another layer. You can powder over the top if you want to keep it um, on for longer. Um, but for the purposes of this uh, little demonstration, that's that's pretty much it. So uh, one tip. If you find you get lipstick on your teeth or you don't want to get lipstick on your teeth and you're worried you might might look a little bit dodgy this, you can take your finger, stick it in your mouth and pull it out, purse your lips around it and any lipstick, I've done that quite well, any lipstick that would have been on your teeth will end up on your finger so then you can just wipe it off and go. So uh, I hope that's useful and uh, see you next time.